If you've swung by the liquor store lately, you may have noticed lower prices. Some are calling it the total wine effect. Since Total Wine opened four superstores in the Twin Cities, price wars have been underway. Esme, you reported on this story for us yesterday. I have a little bit of breaking news. I believe last night in Maple Grove, Total Wine got permission to open another store. Right. They are going to be rolling out some additional stores, so not just that one. The city council so. just approved that one last night. Mm. Right. They, they want to open them all over the area. They looked at the Twin Cities and said, the uh, liquor prices are way overpriced, and we feel like we can come in and undercut the competition. And what's happened uh, across the board, liquor stores, municipal liquor stores, everybody has been cutting their prices, especially on the most popular items to compete. So give us an example of what well, you found. Well, you know, we went to Haskell's, which yeah. has a number of stores in the Twin Cities. This is actually their private labels that they <laughs> gave us. But in terms of the name brands, Captain mm -hmm. Morgan Rum, 1.75 milliliters. Okay. A year ago, Haskell's had it at, at I believe, 23.95. Now it's at 19.98. That's a big drop. Four bucks, 16 percent. That's a significant drop. Absolutely. Only attributed to the fact that Total Wine is uh, pricing it at that level. You know, right? Jack Farrell, the owner of Haskell's, was very upfront. Said, "Yep, we, we cut. We, we're matching the prices." Uh, I think some people mm -hmm. wondered, you know, will the big box model work as a liquor store in Minnesota when we're so used to our smaller liquor stores, our municipal liquor stores? It's unusual compared to other states. But people seem very happy with the prices at Total Wine. Absolutely. There's also something that's really unusual going on, and a lot of people don't know about this part of the Minnesota law. You can't have an exclusive. Every store can have access to all the private labels. So in Lakeville, the municipal liquor stores there are actually buying Total Wine's private label <laughs> items and undercutting them, kind of sticking it to Total because Wine. Because this is the question Great. that people ask, I think, how does Total Wine make money mm -hmm. if they're pricing the, most, the 25 most popular sellers in Minnesota at cost? Well, they'll guide you when you ask for a recommendation to their house wine. Right. And, and actually, Minnesota, there. because of that law allowing everybody access to all the private labels, it has exposed Total Wine's pricing for the nation. Everyone, Every, knows. everyone knows what they're doing, and it's because of the laws in Minnesota. So, Ali, I did ask uh, Haskell's, I said, all right, do you have prices on things that are lower than Total Wine? And they said, yeah, that's where Total Wine is winning maybe the, the public perception war. Sure. But like Prairie Organic Vodka, it's a buck cheaper at Haskell's. There's a red wine that's $4 cheaper. There's, you know, there are a lot of things quite that are list. cheaper. I have quite a long <laughs> list here. But I don't want to drive all the way to Bloomington just right. to get cheaper wine. I mean, if you're going to save $15, right. I'm all about convenience. So if I can go to the grocery store and go to the wine shop nice and close, I'd prefer that rather than driving. Well, they're coming. A lot of people are with you. They're yeah. coming for you. They're opening more stores. So we'll yeah. see how this plays out. Well,